Coach, anytime you're ready, make an opening statement. Oh, congratulations to Richmond. Um, they accomplished something that's very difficult to do, winning four games in four days. Uh, we absorbed a very good punch early in the game, came back and uh, took control of the game to a degree as much as you can take control of a game like this. And uh, they made big plays at big times down the stretch and came out on top. I'm thrilled with the way our guys fought from start to finish. It's emblematic of what they did the entire year. They were just showed tremendous toughness and resilience and teamwork, and I couldn't be more proud than to be their coach. Thank you, Coach. John, any questions for Luca or Michael? Yeah, Michael, John O'Connor from the Richmond Times-Dispatch. Uh, in a game so closely contested, in your view, what was the difference? Um, you know, I think like Coach said, they made, they made a couple big plays down the stretch. Um, you know, I thought we, I thought we made big plays too. Um, you know, I thought we executed very well for the most part, um, and we fought very hard. But um, yeah, like like Coach said, I think they made a they made a couple more plays, ball bounced their way. They made a they executed a little bit better down the stretch, and uh, they were able to come out with it. Uh, Luca, the Davidson Richmond series is it is full of free flowing, high scoring games. Uh, this was certainly different, and I wonder if it's. What do you expect given the circumstances? Yeah, as you said, um, every single game we play against Richmond is always high scoring, really interesting games. And they're also always really close. And I think nobody expected um, a really, really um, low scoring game like today. But it happened. And as Mike said, they made bigger plays in when it counted. And that's why they won. Yeah, I mean, he's, I mean, you know, we watch the games, you know, when we're in the hotel not playing, and, you know, he's been great all weekend. Um, you know, he's a great player, the first guy in the scouting report for a team like that. You know, he's the head of the snake, um, you know, really energizes them. You know, I played 40 minutes, played really well in this game, you know, controlling the tempo um, and, you know, getting guys in good spots and making, uh, making room for himself as well. So, I mean, it's always really tough to, to shut down a player like him, you know, maybe we could have, could have done a little bit better here and there, but um, you know, he's, he's a great player. It's tough to tough to stop that. Any other questions for the players? For, no. Okay, gentlemen, we'll let you go back to your locker room now. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. And now questions uh, for Coach McKella, please. Go ahead, John. You got the mic. <laughs> uh, Coach McKella, could you say a word or two about the Sam Monega's impact? Uh, not really a, a three-point shooter for you during the season, but he. Well, he shot the ball with confidence and um, disappointed for Sam that he had such an outstanding shooting performance and uh, we didn't come away with the victory. You, you want guys to have memories of great performances with a victory and sad to say he doesn't have that. Questions for him? I was going to ask Go ahead. about your season in general and your degree of confidence on heading to the NCAA tournament. Um, it was a joy to coach this team. They have been a pleasure and have been so coachable from start to finish. We've won 27 games. We're 15 and three in, in a very good conference, the A-10. We won the regular season title. We knocked off a number 10 team on their home court. Um, of the six losses we've had, San Francisco, I think, will be a tournament team. Uh, New Mexico State could be a tournament team. Uh, Virginia Commonwealth, Dayton, both were in the conversation. And of course, Richmond's a tournament team. So um, I, I think we have a pretty darn good resume to be in the tournament. Right here. Yes, sir, go ahead. Thanks, Bob, Bob you have seen a lot of Gilliard over the last four or five <laughs> years. What can you say about the way he kind of controls the game and, and imposes his will on the game? Well, five years is the good word. <laughs> Uh, it seems like those guys have been around forever, and uh, one of the things we felt was that this was a team that was incredibly experienced in a system that is very um, built for who they are. And um, Jacob Elliott is sensational. He is a, a guy that could uh, create chaos defensively and can put runs on their offense consistently as well. Um, 
to be able to play 40 minutes and have that kind of stamina is an extraordinary statement of how gifted he is and how talented and valuable he is. Other questions for Coach McKillop? If, if not, I'm going to let him go. Coach, thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck in postseason. Thank you.